we are doing the, actually the beehive, then the, there's a lot of classified classifications of bee, like a lot of bumblebee, honeybees, and a lot. Like, yeah. But then we choose the honeybee because, yeah, other than bumblebee, bumblebee, sorry, because their, their structure is interesting. And then, yeah, and then they are actually in a, in a small colony and they move rapidly. And they don't stay in a certain place like a very long time. Okay, so then, okay, so this is the sections of the bee, uh, yeah, of the beehive. Usually you can see it's underground. Uh, why is it underground and not on the tree or like hanging from the branch? Actually, they are underground. This is because they are using existing household. So they are actually they are not like building or like going to somewhere to build their own they are using existing mouse hole to have their own col uh, colony inside which is the camouflage yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's not only underground but some of them also like hides inside the trees which which means that they don't build their own houses they use like the previous owners of animals to build their own houses so which shows that they are kind of like a camouflage type so it very, it's you are you're kind of like very hard to find them. So, but they are the type of colonization species, which they stay in a particular space, but they don't bring harm to that that structure. I mean that spaces. So, like yeah, they don't like significantly harm or bring helpful also. So yes. Yeah. And then uh, back to the circulations inside. Actually, because we can see mouse holes, like one entrance and one exit, and then through these special chambers, and then into, and then opens up the open space inside. So actually, the bees do the same thing. So they fly in from one entrance and exit, and then pass through the special chambers, and then going into their hives. So actually, and then same way out. So it's like a like a bottle kind of circulation in and out. Okay, and then the special chambers, why is it this? Okay, because this is the place that the bees will meet when they're going in and the uh, They're going out and the end, but coming in with food, with food honey and pollen so, and stuff like that. So this is the point that they meet each other. Like, yeah, I'm going out to work, but you are coming back with food and stuff. So this is the, the feeling they give. It's like, once you go out, then you come back in with something else. You bring, bring, bring. You bring no harm to nature, but you bring something benefit for the for the hive itself. And that's the only special like link way, four way that links the outside of them and their house together. Yeah. And this uh, bumblebee is actually bring goods to the farm or to the uh, forest and uh, fauna. And then some some farmers actually they build or manufacture some man-made man -made underground boxes for them to to, to build their hives. So these are actually man uh, man-made manufacturers boxes or houses. And then yeah, and then the structure inside, which is interesting. Yeah, it's like actually the structure it just started with like a few bees, which they contains the queen bee, the workers, the workers, and each, and it also contains the male bee. So it's like one when the queen the queen bee will started to like make a honey pot or a very small pot for herself to have the breeding process with the male and after that the other workers for the other workers will start to make the other pollen pots like beside it. So actually they started a very small amount of few pollen pots and after that they are like slowly uh, going increase the amount of pollen pots like surrounding the queen surrounding the queen. So after that, after the queen breeding, right, there will be like pollen pots like up, I mean like this is the part where the queen breeding, then the pollen pots will be outside here. And all these pollen pots are previously those lava cells where the the, the young bumblebee where they come out, then after that they will become pollen pots. And after that, all those young bumblebees, they will turn into workers and they will go out to collect honeys and stuff. And after they collect all those honey and stuff, they will bring it back and they will keep it into the pollen pot.
pots, which in the end turns into the honey pots. And then, um, kids, uh, one movie just takes uh, their life to spend around three to four months. Then, after the old queen dies, they have a new young, young, young queen. And then that queen will find another place to build all over again. Uh, so they will, so they will just keep on building and then die and then that and then building and die and then that. So actually, so actually this, this type of bee, you won't stay at one place for a very long time. So their hives are very small, so they are counted the small colony species yes. among the bees. Yes, and then because of that, they are keep on moving. Their ventilation mm -hmm. is very based on them, yes. uh, their self. It's not that based on the structure of the house that they built. So it's like due to their such that they're able to regulate their body temperature and choose like color radiation, uh, shivering, and even radiate the cooling from their abdomens. And besides that, their wings also act as a very important part to cool down the temperature in the structure of the house itself. And um, the material they use actually, because I, I mentioned about the existing mouse hole, so actually using natural uh, material, which is the ground, soil, and sand. And then for their pot and all these pollen pods, honey pods, and uh, queen cells and all, it's using mud. Yeah. And, and they, it also depends on the honey that they collect back. Yeah. So, so Yeah, the real section. Uh, so this is an, the clearer version yeah, of the... Yeah, this is actually cut off and then... Yes. Because actually, mouse is, is a circle yes. and then it just be on top. So this is cut off the top part of the mouse hole. And you can see all this. But this is actually inside every pot. You can see like lava and then like yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yes. Yeah. And then just breeding somewhere else. And then this lava, you know, this is the honey, the pollen box. And then we name it untouchable because um, they are seriously untouchable. Yeah. Because they won't harm they, they won't harm you if you don't attack them. Yes. Yeah, but you you try to attack them and they will get you so yeah. it's And then also because of the location that they choose to be the highest untouchable. It's really, really like, very hard to find them underground. Underground then it's just walk by you can't see, but when you're on the tree you are so so yeah, like, vis inside like so visualized. Yeah, so actually this is um, the name of the drawing is actually complexity of shape and things. So while walking through the the jungle and then I observe like you're kind of actually trapped inside like a cage. Because all those tall, tall trees then they have leaves on top and they cover you up. And then okay then come back to my sitting on the place that I choose, which is next to the waterfall. And then I observe that the curvy line of the of the water flow is actually give you a sense of how you can get out get out of the, of the jungle. And then but the sound that they make, the water makes, makes you rushing. So you are like really rushed and you are really like kind of like scared. And then you are rushing to get out of the, of the jungle. But then it comes to, and then the insect comes in. And then it gives you the beats back to follow the footstep back. So it's actually everything that gives you a sense, it gives you a direction that where you need to go and how you need to follow the steps. what we have been doing. So it's like really fascinating for me, even though I did do lots of hiking like previously, but this is like, I really go into like detail, like seeing all those stuff, like how the ants, how the spiders and stuff like that. It's like the spiders, they have the web, and it's like so amazing how they manage to hang themselves, supporting everything, and how the sun like shortcuts and everything, which really makes them very perfect and nice and warm. And like during the canopy walk, it's like even it's like very tall. Like how they're able to tie the canopy walk, like just supporting with few woods 
with just travel time and like it allows people to walk through but while you're walking through you ever you see the bottom part like all the leaves all the trees and even like you can hear the waterfalls and sounds like that so it's like it's the feeling for me for that one is like really very like really very relaxful and stuff and besides that it's like i also saw the ants like how they manage to do like moving from one place to another place but it's like very amazing that how they move in one line that even though there are a lot of ants but they still move in one line like how did they manage to like bring all of them like to move like from one side to another side yeah that's what i've been like how i expressed to into the spots yeah. 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 Thank you. 